Hi! <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie if you're new and today we are going to be talking about 10 healthy life-changing habits that changed my life and that I believe that everybody should be doing or try to at least incorporate them into their life because we're trying to be the best versions of ourselves. <laughs> but yeah, before we jump into the video, I just thought it would be a nice idea to just kind of like introduce myself just so you're not listening to some random girl on the internet. But yeah, basically my name is Natalie. I'm 22 years old and I just graduated college. And I'm right at that life's crossing where I'm finishing school, I'm done with school. And after 22 years, I am supposed to be an adult. So if you're somebody that is also in like a stressful situation in their life and looking for some inspiration, this is the place to be because all of these I think should be helpful to anybody in any sort of situation, but especially if you're struggling to get your life together, these habits will help you, or at least I hope they will. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into it. I have my little notebook right here. I don't know if you can see but I put a lot of these Hannah Montana stickers all over it just because I'm very cutesy, very demure. <laughs> Why are we saying this? The first and I think also the most important habit is getting your financial education, learning about investments and just learning how to take care of your finances. I feel like nobody teaches you that in schools, parents, like people just don't talk about it especially towards young people but thank god we live in an age with TikTok and YouTube and all of these amazing creators who have channels specifically about finances and investment and especially thank god we live in an age where it's so freaking easy like you literally download an app just transfer your money click on a button and there you go like you're set and your finances are safe that being said I'm definitely not a pro but I also feel like with investing and finances you don't need to know like everything 100% you just really need to start doing it learn how the market works learn what to do and not do do a couple of mistakes learn from them obviously with not a lot of money like definitely start out with like smaller amounts I definitely wish I would be more into it I would definitely love to like read Yahoo finances all the time like my boyfriend does but I have a boyfriend who's obsessed with that so he kind of like fills me in okay but if you don't have a boyfriend you can do this girl you can do this as I said there's so many creators if you want some recommendations definitely comment it down below and I will give it to you and also this habit is literally life-changing like if you invest it can literally change your life compound interest and stuff I'm not gonna get into the details so yeah if I could pick one habit out of all of these to give to you it would be this one because I feel like this habit can definitely change lives. My habit number two is more for the girlies but also for the boys too and that is the two out of three theory. I'm not really sure if it's called that way but I call it that way because it just makes sense to me. Basically what it means is that like when you want to present yourself you have like three categories to focus on. First is makeup, second is hair, third is outfit. And basically what this theory is trying to tell that you don't always have to be put together 100% like you know have a beautiful outfit, beautiful makeup, beautiful hair, but you can only focus on two things and leave the one completely out and you will still look totally put together. For example, if your outfit totally sucks, but your hair and makeup is totally gorgeous, people will still perceive you as somebody who's like put together because you put all this effort into your makeup and stuff. Or the most common for me, I always do my makeup and really focus on my outfit, but I just, I'm not a hair girly, okay? This is like the maximum I can do. So I kind of always leave out my hair, but I still look very put together because my makeup is done and my outfit is nice. You don't have to put hours and hours into your appearance, but you can just focus on those two out of three and you will always look put together plus always wear some sort of jewelry earrings rings like a dainty necklace it again will make you look way more put together than if you don't have anything but again if you're not a jewelry person you don't have to go all out just a little dainty pair of earrings will just do amazing the third habit is basically to keep your space clean I know I know everybody in your mama knows this but it's just such a life-changing thing especially those little habits habits like making your bed in the morning, cleaning your desk before work, going to bed with a clean kitchen, like all of these little habits will just completely change your mind in a psychological way I mean you know like obviously it will help you that you have a clean kitchen but I cannot describe to you how well it feels to just like know that everything is in its place and then when I need to go and do something, I can just start doing it and not have like a messy space that I have to like clean and that will like distract me from my work. It's just something so important to learn, I think, especially at a young age because 
you know, the older you are, the harder it is to learn. Clear space, clear mind, you know, I feel like that just completely, perfectly sums it up for me. I'm also a little bit OCD-ish, as I said, <laughs> so for me, that's something that I just cannot live without. Habit number four is getting in track of your health, and I really and truly mean it overall, you know, anything from going to the doctors and getting all your appointments and checks done, because that's so important and people really take it for granted, but also all the way to just learning about natural prebiotics. Again, I really feel like people take for granted how many good and accessible prebiotics made from natural ingredients are accessible to us. But even without all of these things that you have to pay for, but just learning about natural ingredients and how they can improve and help with your health is just so important, I think. And the earlier you learn and er the earlier you start really incorporating into your life, the better. Habit number five is reading at least one chapter a week. I know, I know, I know there's probably going to be a lot of people that are like, ah, that's so little, but I know how stressful it can get, okay? There's so many habits, there's so many things that like you're trying to incorporate in your life. And in the past couple of years, I've been at a period where my life was very full, very stressful, and I just, you know, the first thing that kind of went was reading, and I haven't read a book in a year. So one chapter weekly, I feel like everybody can manage. It's definitely not a lot, but it is at least something. And again, if you pick really good books to read, this is again a habit that can completely change your life and the books can really alter the way you see the world so another one of those life-changing habits habit number six is journaling this is probably not gonna be life-changing for everybody I myself am very new to this but I have been doing it for the past couple of months and it just really helps me to get my my ideas and my feelings written down I used to write a diary when I was a teenager but that sort of thing was more of like you know a typical diary like this happened I felt this blah 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 but the sort of journaling that I do now is it's more of like just getting my ideas organized and just getting my head organized and I know a lot of people do it in like a electronical way but it's just something about a pen and paper I feel like you just get your ideas down better that way maybe it's just me but yeah that's just my opinion maybe not for you the next habit is exercising and I know I know I know everybody and your mama knows this and I really don't mean to be annoying but this is again a very life-changing habit if you get it right and this is coming from somebody who is a really not like a workout type of gal okay I go to the gym blah 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 but like I've been really struggling with my self-discipline and to get my weekly workouts in okay not only is exercising good in like the physical way okay which is usually what people are talking about like the physical results and obviously it is life-changing in a way that like if you move your body you could actually be healthy and live longer but personally for me the side that is even more important is the philosophical wow psychological side and what I mean is that like if I don't work out I can really feel it on my mood on how grumpy I am and sometimes if I don't work out in a month like I cannot wait to go to the gym just to like have a clear mind. Exercising is key and also there's this saying that I read somewhere or I think I found it on TikTok or something. What you won't incorporate into your lifestyle in your 20s will be like twice as harder to incorporate in your 30s. I don't know if that's true. I cannot really say for the 30 year olds. But again, I feel like the earlier you start incorporating workouts and exercising into your weekly lifestyle, the easier it will be for the next decades. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. The next habit is about traveling. Obviously, my first habit was talking about financial responsibilities and la la da da da. But I feel like exploring this planet is, again, one of the most life changing things you can ever experience. You will never be this young again, and nothing can like open your mind in the same way as traveling can. And also, I feel like people have so many excuses like they don't have like a travel partner, or it's too expensive, or they don't have time. You can find Find time you can travel alone all of my friends that went on like a solo travel trip said that that's been always like their number one top trip so you can do it on your own too and the money will come back okay you can just save up a bit and do like a very low budget trip I almost see it as like investing in yourself but like not beauty wise but like wise you know 
just don't think anything else can like open your mind as much and like really put your life into perspective also inspire you give you new ideas it's just something that I think nobody should take for granted we've come all the way to the last and final habit and I think for me personally that's probably also the most important one out of them and that is to really know when to switch off and relax right now I told you nine habits that you should incorporate in your life and it can be a bit much like all of these are really overwhelming like get your financial education travel journal read five pages a day like it's a lot of things and obviously it can get really overwhelming obviously you want to be the best version of yourself but you also need rest to be the best version of yourself so that's kind of why I also love this habit to be the last one because none of these habits will really help you if you don't have the energy there's just so many things that we have to deal on the daily basis you have to work you have to eat you have to meet with your friends meet with your family clean yourself do your skincare clean and then you're supposed to be journaling and reading and blah blah blah, blah, blah. you just really have to know when to relax and when to do all of these other habits I don't want you to burn out okay honey <laughs> but yeah guys these were the 10 habits that I think could really change your life and that I've been trying to incorporate to change my life too and I hope you got inspired and I hope that you will try some of these things if you have any questions definitely leave me a comment down below and I will try to respond and yeah that is it for me in this video if you have a minute please go check out my Instagram and my TikTok I've been posting a lot on there lately and then also if you have a minute go check out my Instagram and if you live in Czech Republic Slovakia or Poland go check out my vintage but yeah that's it for me guys I love you so so much thank you so much for your support and I will see you in my next video bye